Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading I'm sharing this morning is the from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38, the King James Version. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Can you just imagine what a fearful moment it would have been to have an angel come to you visibly and speak to you. And you hear the words, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with thee. Fear and joy would be commingled. The Mary visitation will not be repeated because there is only and can only be one mother of Jesus. But you have received the promise of being a favored one as well. Fear not. For you too have received the promise that the Lord is with thee. According to the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And the Lord's promise himself, And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Rejoice, beloved child of God, for the Lord is with thee. Amen.